Hi, my name is Vidya, also known as Vidya Hair and Makeup, and I'm from London. I grew up in London, now currently living in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, and I'm a makeup artist. Content that I create for social media is to do with makeup, blogging, fashion. I also started YouTube, where I teach a lot of tutorials, and that's the type of content that I create. Life is too short. I've been doing makeup for about 11 years now, actively been um, using social media or been a content creator for the last sort of six years. So eventually I grew my platform, social media, marketing, work, collaboration, and I am where I am today, where I've taught about 15 masterclasses. I do a lot of bridal jobs. I've worked with a lot of celebrities in the movie industry. So it's been, it's been great. When it comes to passion, I think the one thing that really gets me out of bed every morning is seeing my bride's face. It's the most rewarding feeling knowing when she looks in the mirror after I've done the makeover and being part of that special moment for her big day. My most memorable client experience, hands down, was one of my brides in Mauritius who actually flew me down to Mauritius and it wasn't even just the fact that I was in Mauritius and I had this beautiful hotel, the beach and everything, but um, it was her family. So they invited me, I was out there for a week and they invited me out every single day. They picked me up, they introduced me to the entire family. And because I'm a pescatarian, the grandmother cooked me this beautiful fish um, just for me and they really treated me like family. And that was probably my most memorable um, you know, moment in my entire career. The masterclass just for you guys to understand it's a day of a demonstration of you doing makeup. So you just essentially, if you're attending, you're watching somebody do makeup for the whole day. So I find with these masterclasses, somebody who's just maybe thinking of doing makeup or just wants to learn a little bit of makeup or somebody who's already established, it's a great way of just going, not spending too much money, it's more affordable and being able to just watch and then decide later if they want to develop their skills further or if that's something that they actually want to go into. So I think it's, it's great um, and I wish I had that 11 years ago. I'm a very organized person so I rely on my calendars and every day I set myself a week goals. I know a lot of people tend to do a year goal, five years, 10 years. I'm just very realistic. I do a week and I set everything up and then I time myself and schedule myself and then when my husband goes to work I have the whole day to do YouTube videos, edit them out and I get things done by the time he comes back and then I just have like a nice home cooked meal for my husband. Um, so yeah and then with the traveling as well same thing I, I plan myself out as well I make sure that I speak to my husband all the time um, I call my parents you know every single person who I care about in life I make sure I give them my time and effort every single day no matter where I am in the world and I think that way you can just kind of have everything and um, still be happy I guess. I would say being a makeup artist and being passionate about my job has really given me a lot of positivity, a lot of energy, wanting to do loads of things. So I think if I wasn't doing what I'm doing now, I might have not had the opportunities or the platform that I have now to really sort of raise awareness about a lot of things. Um, it's one thing being, you know, having a certain number of followers on social media, but it's another thing trying to use your platform for bigger and better things, I guess. And I might not have had that opportunity if I had done something else. My role model is definitely, or are definitely women who've been through a lot in their lives. And my mother-in-law is one of them. She's probably at the top. But anyone, just day-to-day -day women who really, really, you know, mothers, um, career women, everyone that really hustle hard and work hard. And I, you know, I think it's, it's amazing to see them do what they're doing and they inspire me every day. I'm not from Toronto, so, um, but anything sushi, man, you're all, all you can eat sushi is like the shizzle. Definitely Instagram. My favorite artist is actually a makeup artist from London. Her name is Nikki Makeup and I've never met her, but she's probably the one person I religiously watch in any tutorial. Like I screenshot, I buy her products, anything that, yeah. So yeah, I would love to meet her one day actually. I personally think it's an amazing idea. As a content creator, if we're posting pictures, we obsess over the likes. We obsess whether it's doing well, whether other people like it. And at the same time, for somebody who's maybe new, just starting out social media, they're going to easily compare themselves to other people in the same field. So I think it just kind of eliminates the comparison. It eliminates even social media bullying and harassment and everything. So I feel like 
you know, that way you can just really focus on the engagement rather than putting up a pretty picture, if that makes sense. I know this is such a cheesy thing to say, um, but I would say the Bible. It really, really changed my life and it really changed uh, my attitude towards a lot of things. It's helped me a lot, so, um, you know, yeah, so I would say the Bible. I still feel like my hair, like me doing hair on brides or clients or whatever, I could probably do better. So that's still unmastered and I'm, I'm gonna focus on that for the next few years. Convenient, my husband. Lord of the Rings. One of my best friends from Toronto, she made me amazing breakfast. Just do you. That's it. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram at Vidya Hair and Makeup. I also have my YouTube that you can subscribe on, Vidya Hair and Makeup. Um, and yeah, like my website, it has all the handles, so check me out. Bye!